Once again, we ask the age-old question. Whose cuisine reigns supreme? Three, two, one. Abokortuna! Kneading stretches the gluten, which can then capture gases, allowing the bread to rise. Frenet! Intricate cutting work is required in places that people don't usually expect. For instance, almost all butchery is far more precise than it seems. Chopping free-for-all translates really well into cartoon whirling dervishes, but it isn't very safe in a real kitchen. sized chef's knife to get this job done. popularity across America has led to a weird variety of gadgets and myths.
When a whole dish comes together on the plate, it's a big relief in Kitchen Stadium. Tuna! After years of toiling away in kitchens all over the world, you have finally been given your chance. You have been chosen to stand among the elite. You will test your skills against the absolute best that the culinary world has to offer, the Iron Chefs. Our chairman has seen fit to assemble his best and brightest Iron Chefs from all of the world's kitchen stadiums. Routinely, they do battle against the greatest culinary minds. The International King of Iron Chefs Tournament collects them in the one place for the first time in history. The battle is about to begin, so only one question remains. Will your cuisine reign supreme? I introduce to you all a special challenger in this illustrious competition. The only competitor who does not already hold the title of Iron Chef. Welcome, Chef, to Kitchen Stadium! You are about to start an epic battle. A match of skills and creativity previously unseen. You will battle. Oh. Iron Chef, Jacques Lambert! <laughs> this will be challenging for you. There's always more to a battle in Kitchen Stadium than just the hour time limit. The wily chairman often pops up a surprise just to keep things interesting. With bated breath, here we sit, audience, judges, and I, your humble announcer, waiting to see what great riches and devilish challenges await. Let's to the chairman. Chefs, there is one final ingredient to this battle. Our secret ingredient. The secret ingredient is... The announcement of our secret ingredient marks the true commencement of this contest. We'll have a single helping of delicious success to dole out one quick hour from now. Great. Zucchini are a good source of some useful vitamins and minerals like folate, vitamin A, and manganese. Mix. A 
Arriving at the hands of Italian immigrants in the 1920s, zucchini is a relative latecomer to the American table. Since the summer squash, or zucchini, really took off in Italy, it has taken a prominent role in a wide variety of foodstuffs there. Mix! The mixers in Kitchen Stadium are high-end consumer models, mostly from four to six quarts in capacity. High-volume commercial models usually hold around 100 quarts. Chopping onions make people cry because a gas released by broken cells turns into an acid when it comes into contact with the liquid in your eyes. Dorky goggles have not been proven to help. Sorry. Chop! Both the fruit and flower of zucchini plants are deliciously edible. The flowers, which are tremendously perishable, are usually stuffed, then fried. Flatten! One quarter has elapsed. What you're looking for in a good yeast dough is called window painting, where light can shine through a section of the stretched out dough. Chopping free-for-all translates really well into cartoon whirling dervishes, but it isn't very safe in a real kitchen. Chop! Zucchini is one entry on the surprisingly long list of fruits treated as vegetables. Although you won't see them at your local Mega Mart, the zucchini can get truly huge, up to three feet in length. Of course, at that point, it's not very good eating. Slice! Getting things done quickly, but safely, is the key. Slice! One half has elapsed. Saute.
Frying at home means falling in love with your splatter guard. And don't move that hot oil. Chop! Chopping as a term can cover a variety of tasks like uh, mincing and icing. Other than the application of heat and how to use salt, no other skill is more important in a professional kitchen than knife skills. Stir! What could this be for? Hmm, it looks like it might be coming together as a sauce or a marinade of some sort. These kinds of micrograters aren't the best choice for softer cheeses. They just turn to mush. Look for uh, dry aged cheeses like Parm to really respond to this tool. Grill! I suggest you make a really good friend of your butcher. That's the only person on this planet that can tell you about what you are buying. Got some serious mixing going on over here. It looks like Chef will need to get a lot done in this hour. Stir. In baking, a lot of products can be classified by the method by which they are mixed. False. Three quarters have elapsed. Slice! A chef's knives are often carried with them in rolls to store all of the pieces that they need. You don't mess with someone else's knives. Make me a tasty morsel. Please impress my taste buds. I'm excited to be impressed. Plate! Layering items adds both height and visual appeal. That's not something that can be scored specifically. Think of it as a personal expression. Eight. When a whole dish comes together on the plate, it's a big relief in Kitchen Stadium. Plate!
complete. If items are meant to be eaten in a certain order or in specific combinations, tell your diners. Trust me, they want to know. They may look simple, but minimalist plates are harder to pull off elegantly than you think. Plate! Chef, we breathlessly await the delicacies that you have prepared for us. You went a little too safe for this ingredient. The secret ingredient isn't jumping out at me. Dishes like this, it's more a matter of opinion, and for me, it's like rather than love. Far be it for me to resort to pedestrian slang, but this meal is the bomb. Chef, please enlighten our palates with your innovative creations. Sorry for how this went down. I like the secret ingredient, but I don't like it here. There's not much that can be done to improve on this dish because I'm not entirely sold on the idea. This mix of cuisine. If tastiness is next to godliness, then all praise to this dish. Intoxicating aroma, but the taste is completely different. Today, two culinary masters met to wage an all-out battle here at Kitchen Stadium. The judges have spoken. And the winner is... The Challenger! S'il vous plaît, let me apologize, judges. These are not the dishes that I wanted for today's battle. Sadly, we are at the end of our epic bout of Titans in Kitchen Stadium. The judges have laid down their decision. The winner will soon reap the fruit of victory, and we will be back for another session of true culinary greatness. I introduce to you all a special challenger in this illustrious competition. The only competitor who does not already hold the title of Iron Chef.
Welcome, Chef, to Kitchen Stadium! You are about to start an epic battle. A match of skills and creativity previously unseen. You will battle. Whoa. Iron Chef, Ling Shu! I'm gonna rock this. Tonight, the chairman has prepared for us a devilishly clever theme to test culinary supremacy. This ultimate tournament of gastronomic superstars continues to <laughs> amuse the judges. In the end, one chef will leave with a hearty helping of victory and the other will be cast aside with the leftovers. And with that witty banter, let us turn to our chairman so that we all may assess the difficulty of his latest challenge. Chefs, there is one final ingredient to this battle. Our secret ingredient. The secret ingredient is... Sweet potato! Whoa. I like crazy! Kitchen Stadium and its theme ingredient altar are a cruel mistress indeed. Throwing a curveball at these two chefs. Let us away to the cooking and see what shakes out. Sweet potatoes have been domesticated as crops for at least 5,000 years in the tropical areas of North and South America. Getting things done quickly, but safely, is the key. Chop. Yams have been cultivated in their native regions of West Africa and New Guinea since eh, around 8,000 BC. Although yams, sweet potatoes, and regular old potatoes can sometimes be used interchangeably in recipes, the uh, flavor of each type will be very different. Great. Although the names yam and sweet potato are often used interchangeably in the United States, they are not technically the same plant. Chop. Most people use a medium-sized chef's knife to get this job done. Whip. One quarter has elapsed. <laughs> 